Uh, we're going to start here with uh, Roma versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Roma 1.73, draw 4.2 and Shakhtar Donetsk 5. Uh, just also letting you guys know, uh, we actually clip these videos as well. So uh, if you just want the individual games, uh, there it is on the playlist um, at Sportsbook Review on our YouTube channel. Um, uh, those odds by UAGE. One of the questions, uh, obviously Roma at home uh, looks quite favourable. Two uh, one uh, aggregate Shakhtar there, um, but really the question is, is right now is uh, to qualify. As someone was asking, uh, who uh, who is likely to qualify? Can Roma qualify? Uh, Going to start off with you, Nigel. Roma to qualify is two Shakhtar one point nine five. I think it really depends on Shakhtar scoring that away goal. Both teams to score one point six one. Is it going to be a really close tight match? I don't think so. I think there's goals in this game. I really, really do. Um, Check to Donetsk. Over the years, have always been a tough place to go. Flash will know. Many years ago, I, I, I we spent a, a television time over in Donetsk uh, for a TV channel, and um, I know what a formidable place it is to go. Um, probably not as much now, obviously, because they had the civil war in Ukraine. They've moved away from Donetsk a little bit, but uh, it's still a tough place to go. But away from home, they've always been bad travellers. I mean, the, the majority of the side is South American Brazilians. They've got goals in them. Uh, Roma, I, see, I still think Roma have passed their best. I think they're an average side. Um, domestically, they're doing OK, but they're not, you know, the top echelons. They're not Juventus, that's for sure, or a Napoli this season. Um, and they're not like Italian teams of old. They've always got goals in them. So I, I think this is um, all about uh, really if the, the, the Roma game will be to try to shut to the disc out. And I think that's a dangerous one mm-hmm. because I think with the attacking flair they have, they have got goals. Um, I can see this being a real, real long game. Um, I'm looking at this maybe being in a 2-1 uh, t- home win and going all the way to extra time and possibly even the dreaded penalties in this game. I think this is really, really tight. I mean, I don't know what the odds are. I would expect Shakhtar to be slight, for slight favourites to qualify. But um, I, th- I think here, this is uh, this is goals. I think both teams to score is a bet. I know it's 1.6. It's pretty short. I think over two and a half goals. I think the nature of the game is Roma have to go out and get goals. And I think that leaves themselves yeah. vulnerable at the back. And Shakhtar do have goal scorers. So for me, it's goals. Uh, both teams to score 1.6. All right. So you're going for that both teams to score bet. Uh, over to you, uh, big man. Uh, will Roma try and shut Shakhtar out? Or again, you know, they do. What What's your sort of take on the game? Yeah, I think Nigel's breakdown was actually pretty on point. I, I would agree with them. Donetsk is not good travelers. They've only scored in one game over the last seven away matches. So you know, they haven't played particularly well. They do have the, have the advantage. I'm going to go for Roma to qualify here at 1.9. I'm actually also going to go very small, Natalie. Now, again, go very small. This is obviously a very random bet, but I'm actually also going to go Roma to qualify on penalties at 41. I think this could get mm. the penalties. I'm going to take a shot with that. I don't, you know, again, we're in profit this season. If if I throw 25 bucks on that, I mean, that's going to pay a nice little chunk out. So I'm going to take a shot with that very small. But uh, my main bet for this one is Roma to qualify. I think, you know, at home, they're a much better side. They have played a bit better defensively lately as well. They still have Eden Dzeko, uh, you know, Kalarov in defense. I'm going to go Roma to qualify at 1.9. Wow. So you, so both of you are expecting extra time here. Flash, are you on? Uh, are you on that same? Do you think this is going to go into overtime? That no, could well do. I mean, you've got to look at the home team. The home team, obviously, they've been away. They've got their uh, away goal. But you look at Roma. Roma means goals for and against them. So straight away, I look at this game and I say both teams to score and over two and a half goals is that even money. Now, yeah, if you can see it being 2-1, then you've already paid. And this is the other thing I was going to say to Big Man, because I do this a lot in this type of game, that I will have 10 or 20 quid on Roma to win on penalties, and I'll have 20 quid on Shakhtar to win on penalties. So, I mean, they're, they're, all, they're both um, north of 10 to 1. So, and you've already got, the only way that's going to happen is if it's 2-1 to Roma. So that means you've got your both teams back, to score, flash. and you're over 2.5. Why don't you just back the game to bet, go to Nigel. penalties? Yeah, but why don't you back the game to go to penalties? Is that the same price as back because, to the two singles? Because if it's two, well, both teams to uh, score and over two and a half goals at even money, and it's two one, and then and then you get a free one late on. You still got your winning bet. No, no, I'm just, no. I'm saying if you back Shakhtar to win on penalties, and you also back Roma to win on penalties, it's exactly the same price both, as the match to go to penalties. 
they're both forty to one to win on penalties. Well, that's exactly. four. So that's four point exactly. eight. That's, that's two. That's two point four percent. So the match to go to penalties would be the same price as the, as the two of them. So exactly the same. Is it? You'd be back two singles or back one team to go to penalties. Exactly the same. Yeah, but I'm not game saying that. I'm saying both penalties teams score over two and a half games. Yeah, exactly the same. So, exa- so yeah. if you had if you had a ten if you had a tenner on one, tenner on another, exactly the same as the game to go to penalties. Yeah, but that's if you want to go that way. Okay. I, I'm, I'm both teams it's scored over two and a half goals. <laughs> okay. All right. No worries. All right. You, well, listen, in... you gave us 15 minutes about there's going to be loads and loads of goals and come out of a 1.6 job. Well, last time I spoke to you, I gave loads of 15 minutes. Of, I think I gave 15 minutes of loads and loads of not goals and a nil-nil goal. And you said it was going to be 3 nil Liverpool game, I thought, last time. But there you go. I'll move on. Okay, yeah, because uh, <laughs> only because that was your only winner. <laughs> <laughs> Crack on. Sorry, I've seen that though. Flash had, Flash had a great uh, weekend this weekend, didn't you, in, uh, in we Premier League? About, it, though, about no, time. Only, but... I've never been one of them people. I've never been one of them people that sings when he's winning because I don't cry when I'm losing. Flash. I have right, come on, come on. I've worked with you in the past, Flash. You come and write Flash's... I remember Flash's five coming out every week. More, that Flash's five come out more times than the famous five, my kids. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm living on that. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, quickly now, just onto the comment. Uh, interestingly, a lot of people said Roma um, are playing pretty good, uh, says Steve, Steve, Stephen Serban, uh, but he's also liking a Roma win to nil. Interesting. Uh, so not expecting a Shakhtar Donetsk to score. An S um, uh, commenter here. I like Roma to qualify. They played very well against Napoli and Torino, and Shakhtar Donetsk are bad on the road. So a uh, uh, lot more love on the sort of the on the. Um, Roma side, and I like Roma to be honest, 1.73. Uh, both teams to score 1.61, says Nigel. And uh, I tell you what, big man, I do like that better. Odds of 41 there. So uh, definitely want to put a little small stake on that. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos. So please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.